September 9th. No progress on the... Well, I mean, it doesn't hurt. It, it, I guess that's the progress, is that I slept with the little thing again. It's still swollen. Just the tip. And the color is definitely changing. Well, I mean, it's still the same. You could just tell that it's swollen. But it, it doesn't hurt to the touch. It's not as sensitive as it was yesterday. It's clearly still swollen. I don't know what's gonna happen with it. <laughs> I want to record my dream. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. It has something to do with expect respect and project survive and the training about it. Who I am. It was so weird. Um, it was weird. It was long. I can probably remember half of it. And I'm uh, working on the training to become familiar with the, with the topic and I'm working with a team via Zoom but also in real life there's this feeling, this feeling that I'm in college there's this feeling that I'm in college I mean I am <laughs> But it's different. In my dream, it's different. It's like a, a younger college. Like I, I, back in the day when I when I was in college. But it's not the same schools. Or it, it um, Mr. Bumple's there. I hadn't thought about Mr. Bumble in a while, but he was there. Were we dating? Uh, I, don't, I don't know if we were dating. It, it feels like there was something going on. <laughs> There's a restroom scene. And I'm in, it's a female restroom. And there's other, other females in there. There's stalls. And everyone's using the restroom. <laughs> they're they're using the restroom, and for them, there there's exposure. <laughs> there, there's they're in uh, stalls that don't have doors, and they're still going even though I'm there. Some of them the the gaps are wider, and they're in there, and. And I'm having to use the restroom too. So we're we're all using the restroom. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> that it's the first restroom I'm realizing it's the first restroom dream where it's not just me going to the restroom. That it's the other people that I'm presenting with. It's the other people that I'm I'm there's this just knowing, or or it's not necessarily that I'm presenting with, or, yeah, uh, kind of, yeah, yeah. It's the other people that I'm presenting with. I don't, I, I have no idea who they are, but I know there's this knowing. These are people that I'm presenting with, <laughs> and we're in the restroom, and it's like you know the, the restroom that has the different stalls, but some of the stalls don't have doors and they're still going and I'm turning them like yeah yeah they're going <laughs> and then there's some stalls where the gaps are wide kind of like the restrooms that I would have by myself but I wasn't alone in this rest and I've been alone in other restroom scenes but in the other restroom scenes I'm the one 
right? Struggling with going to the restroom or finding a stall that's private. But in this particular one, everyone's using it too. Everyone in that restroom is using it too. I'm trying to find one that also works. I'm trying to find one that works too. That's funny. <laughs> Just realized that. Um, so from there, it switches scenes, and I'm working on training. But there's this feeling that I've been college, like in my first year in college, maybe. And I'm with, I'm with, <laughs> I'm dating someone. I'm in, I'm in her bedroom. I'm in her bedroom. I'm in her bedroom. We just started dating. <laughs> she's, she's the girl in my, I follow her. She's a writer. She, she, she's the writer. She's um, the first, the girl, the first girl that I painted uh, nude. And she, this is the second time she's in one of these dreams, we're, and we're dating. And so in this dream, I'm in her bedroom. There's this knowing that I'm in college, and she's in college, too. There, there's, yeah, there's a. It's like we're trying to figure it out. <laughs> And I'm definitely more of the assertive one. And I'm like, you know, like being like, you know, assertive. Like I'm, I'm turning her around. I'm bringing her close to me. I just want to kiss her. Um, oh, this was after I realized how into me she was. Because I opened up my laptop and she had gone into my laptop and she had posted this picture of her on my screen on my screen saver <laughs> and I remember smiling I'm like oh okay like she really she really likes me like we're really hitting it off and she comes into the bedroom and I acknowledge that she did that she gets embarrassed a little bit and and that's when like I pull her close to me and I'm wanting to kiss her and um and you know we're getting ready to like make out on the bed, and um, and and we're talking at the same time about what we have going on, and and there's this almost feeling in my head. Uh, she starts talking. I start listening to her. What's going on with her? And and there's this feeling like I'm paying rent somewhere. I'm paying rent somewhere. But I'm also staying with her. So the idea comes into my mind of, I want to move in with her. Let's move in together. Type of, and I haven't said it, but I'm thinking it. How would we make this work? How would we make this work is what I'm thinking. How would I make this work? Or, or we move in together. <laughs> so funny. Seen changes. I'm in high school now. And there's this knowing that I'm a senior and I'm dating a freshman. There's this knowing that she's a freshman. It's no longer the same girl. But I'm a senior. There's this feeling I either I'm a senior or I'm still first year college. Because I realized the person that I'm dating, I'm like, oh, you're younger than me. You're younger than me. You're... And, it's, and it's a high school scene. And, um, and I realized, and, and this girl, so the first girl, uh, ethnicity-wise, she was probably, she's Latina too. I think 
with the second girl either that I'm dating at the same time or just it's a different scenario I'm a different person feels like I'm a different person though but I am older like I know that I'm older and the girl that I'm dating is now younger than me long blonde curly reddish red blonde hair something happens to her something happens to her in the restroom she was next to me for a minute and then she's gone and then with her friends and that's how I know that she's younger because without her friends she seemed older but then her friends come along and her friends just look younger and and um, they're a little mature and it's a mixture of, of gender and, and the, the, the way they're acting is very immature so that and that's how I know I'm like oh you're younger and I'm needing to leave so I'm trying because I've, I feel like I'm in college like maybe first year college and I'm needing to leave and I want to say goodbye to her and I'm trying to find her and all of a sudden she comes out of the restroom and she's frazzled and I don't understand why she's frazzled but I'm letting her know that I need to leave and she's like trying to keep it together she she's a tight I sense that something's off, but I don't know. She's not saying anything. But there's this urgency for me to leave. And then as she turns and walks away, I see it. I see that there's like a toilet paper in her hair. She has a like poofy hair. And I see, and, and that's how I know I'm like, Someone's, someone was messing with her, someone was messing with her, and I get upset. And, and I'm trying to follow her, because she gets mad. And now we're in the football field. And there's some event, because all the students, I don't know if it's like after a game, or, or it, there's an event happening, because it's dark, it's in the evening, and, and everyone's in the football stadium and I see her chasing after these these people I mean it, the stadium is full of people high school students and and I'm trying to catch up to her because there's this protectiveness within me I'm like who's messing with you like Who's like, it reminds me, when I was younger, I used to protect my brother because uh, girls would mess with him and he would come to me and be like, you either messing with me, my brother, when you're younger. So I'd go and I'd protect him and I'd tell the girls, leave him alone. He doesn't want to play with you. <laughs> so in, in, in this scene, I'm trying to follow her to see one if she's okay and two who's bothering you like there's just this protectiveness within me of like I need to protect you but she's she's kind of taking care of it on her own that's so wild so I watched um Trouble with the Curve <laughs> yesterday I started I was like oh I haven't seen this movie in a long time I really like it I don't know where that didn't keep them. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the people in the in the in the dream weren't in the movie. Oh, I was working on Project Survivor. Expect respect stuff. Yesterday, I was working on my coping skills course. Which, by the way, I was so upset with my computer. A long course and they didn't record after I was done I was like no all that work and it didn't record you've got to be kidding I was so upset I went to bed and um 
Whatever. I'm gonna try again. I just wanted to record the dream because I thought it was interesting. The details and the people and the fact that I was dating. I don't know if I was dating two people. It didn't feel like it, I was dating two people at once. It didn't. It didn't. The, the scenes were blurry. There was a blurriness. And just the, again, the awareness, the masculine energy within me, uh, the protector, the, the assertive me um, coming out. It's just, I, I don't know if there's anything more to that or if it's just, I don't know what kind of dream that would be. Anyways. I like that the bottom part of my finger feels better than the top part of my finger. But it's still extremely tight. But the pain, I mean, I can bend it. It's just the tightness that I feel that hurts. But if I bend it without pressing my finger, it doesn't hurt. Like I can, I can move it all around. It's only when I press it, when I slightly press it, it's like maybe a, it's just tightness that I feel. It's not pain. Only the top part right here is painful. Hey you, my name is Yubi and I use she they pronouns and you've just finished watching a clip from my video diary entries where I'm documenting my healing journey as I learn how to navigate my spiritual awakening. I have learned that this experience and process is unique to each and every one of us in whatever way we are embracing living our truth. This just happens to be my journey. And despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of formal mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, um, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself as these experiences unfold and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, please know that there is a time gap between when these videos post and my real timeline. And also that these clips build upon each other similar to chapters in a book. So if you find yourself lost or confused, feel free to click on the playlist section or the link below um, where you can jump around, check out the other chapters, and or catch up. Um, also, please know that um, you're more than welcome to check out my website, www.youbecominghealed.com, where I've gathered all of this information, my background, experience, um, and education to create online self-paced courses to help you on your healing journey wherever you are. You're also more than welcome to check out my other YouTube channel, at You Becoming Healed, where I've entertained a podcast, including clips from these courses so that I can make this content accessible to more and more people. Um, please click like, subscribe, and share this content so again it reaches more people with the hopes that other people will resonate and connect with the healing journey and the stories shared so that they don't feel alone in their own process. I thank you in advance. I'm grateful to you and um, I wish you well.